Quarter Leather is a one-man company based in Brighton where handcrafted leatherworks are made affordable. Eric Hines, a 24-year-old Suffolk graduate, creates 100% handmade leather collections in his bedroom studio for customers all over the world. Quarter Leather runs an online shop featuring bracelets, wallets, and custom belts that has grown solely by word of mouth. Well, I was really into some of the Japanese heritage, fashion, heritage fashions in college, and um, I was on a couple of fashion forums, and basically what the Japanese are doing in the fashion industry is they're, they're buying all of the looms and the mills and the machines from the 50s in America that we use in America, and they're looming their own denim, they're sewing everything by hand, um, and they're recreating these cuts from the 50s and the 60s. Um, and so what they've also done is they took leather work, Western leather work, and they kind of put their own spin on it while keeping the American flavor. And so I saw one of their wallets with the exchange rate. It was like $400, and I was a junior in college. So I just ordered some leather, looked up an online tutorial, and um, I made my own wallet. And then I posted pictures of that on the fa one of the fashion blogs I was on. And <clears throat> it just kind of took off from the first day people wanted to order from me um, because they were... $300 cheaper than the Japanese version and way easier to get. So I had to teach myself leather craft and then once I did that, about four months later, I opened shop and started selling things online and um, it's been my full-time job ever since. When a record-breaking earthquake devastated Japan on March 11th, Quarter Weather decided to begin a fundraising sale to benefit the Red Cross. Eric debated designing a belt before quickly realizing he needed to market a product that anyone could afford. He was drawn to a simple bracelet that would appeal to more consumers and allow mass production. The design was based on his simplest bracelet with a Japanese twist, hand-painted red buttons that would age with the leather. The bracelets were priced at $20 each. Quarter Leather's original goal was to make $1,000 in a two-week sale. $4,000 was raised in under 24 hours and the numbers only grew from there. After a month of sales, Quarter Leather sold 1,954 bracelets. The bracelets were still in demand after a month, but the sale had pushed Eric to his maximum. Because of an unfortunately timed cold, he was too sleep-deprived and sick to continue the long hours that such a massive sale required. Nearly 17 of each bracelet's $20 was donated to the Red Cross, adding up to $32,000. The Red Cross was, you know, they, they asked me to sign a bunch of stuff, and um, it was hard to really get in contact with them for the first two weeks, which I was really surprised about. So... It wasn't the best experience, but like I said, I can understand how they b were busy, and I know that they actually they do a lot of good with the money. So, you know, it's over there and it's helping, and that's all I can ask for. Eric is very happy where Quarter Leather stands at the moment. The company's main intent is to release products that are affordable, long-lasting, and popular, rather than what he calls filler projects. Eric may invest in a studio workshop if Quarter Leather continues to bloom, but he is quite at peace working out of his small Brighton bedroom for the time being. For the digital journalist at Emerson College, this is Christine Hayes.